Well, here we are again. Eiffel's here. The Kubota tractor axle's here. And what we've done now, we've taken off that swivel axle. You can see the housing here. We're getting to that seal. A very common problem with Kubotas is that the uh, wheel swivel seals, they take in a lot of water. And they'll contaminate that fluid. You won't know it because the water mixes up with that fluid pretty well. And Well, you just won't know it. So, eventually you'll get a little bit of leaking out of the bottom. There's the gear case. Swivel. With the bevel gears. Inside right here, a little... little gears. I'll leave that all together. We're not going to touch that. There's the bevel gear drive right there. Circlet. So, a word to the wise, when you take these out, you take that seal out, you got to get that large bearing out. You've got to clean the accumulated rust that's built up from moisture right around this lip. And uh, it's not easy to drive out. Uh, then again, it's not hard. You got to get a brass drift. You don't damage your races or your case. And you, you come in from a couple angles. You come in from here. And then you come in from here. And you tap that out real careful. Clean that rust out. If you can a little bit before you move it like I did. And you'll have that baby apart. And in the future, I'm going to do what people have suggested, which is run 90 weight, not run the Kubota fluid. It's too thin, leaks out easily. So, there's the old seal. There's the new seal, new bearing. Don't really need new bearing, but I think I'm going to throw one in. They were 12 bucks or something like that through Kubota, through Messix. So, that's the story. We're going to put the, clean this up a little bit more and put this little beauty back together. Also, on these uh, flange mounts where the case goes together, you want to clean that off real good. And you'll find down here near the bottom where you might have hit stones or rocks or something, you'll find little dents that happen when it's bolted together. And those will keep it from sealing once you take it apart and put it back together so what I suggest is taking a file very carefully and lightly just going around that making sure you got no burrs no right here on the bottom seems to be where they occur where they come in contact with the ground at times and you want to get a good seal not RTV something a little bit more heavy-duty seal that case up. I think we got some Permatex here somewhere. It's kind of like, looks kind of like the gas seal stuff you use in plumbing, but it's a very sticky, semi-permanent bond. So that's it. So I guess we'll show it either going back together tomorrow and we'll get that little baby pulling some logs. Okay, I'll see you later. Good luck.